Hi, welcome to my cooking channel, Ratatouille, anyone can cook. Cooking is fun, only when it's begun and that's the slogan. So now let's begin to have some fun. Don't forget to watch till the end of the video for the post credit scenes. The ingredients for making the medvada are, first, the basic ingredient is uruddal. Take about 100 to 150 grams of uruddal for getting approximately 50 medium sized vadas. Then, the additional ingredients for the above measurement of uruddal are 2 medium sized onions chopped nicely into small pieces, 6 to 7 curry leaves, coriander leaves as per requirement, 3 to 4 pieces of green chilies, and ginger as per requirement. Avoid adding more ginger as it may dominate the flavor of vadas. Next comes the seasoning. Black pepper, half a teaspoon, which is optional, asafoetida, a pinch, salt, one tablespoon or as per requirement. Then for frying, refined oil about, for about 3 fourth quantity of the size of the wok or pot or the kada used for deep frying. Last but not the least, extra tip, which is cleaning cloth for keeping the kitchen clean on the go. the uruddal which is also known as white lentils in a bowl. Pro tip 1. The bowl should have more space because after soaking the uruddal it will increase in its size double the time. Pro tip 2. This is my measuring cup and I always use this for measuring because it makes me a pro by knowing the end quantity. So 1 cup equal to 15 medium sized vadas. Next rinse the uruddal in clean water and soak it for 6 to 8 hours. I prefer leaving it overnight because I can't resist the waiting period for having these vadas. Rather spend the time having dreams about it. Now let's rinse the uruddal. Rinse the uruddal till the water which is white becomes clear and uruddal is visible in the water. Pro tip 3. Do not soak the uruddal more than 8 hours because it will start smelling. If you can't make the vada same day, remove the water, pat the uruddal dry and store it in an airtight container for not more than a day. Now the water is crystal clear. So leave the setup undisturbed for 6 to 8 hours and wait for the magic to happen. Ta-da! The uruddal has nicely softened and increased in its quantity. Now it measures nearly about 2 cups. Then transfer the soaked uruddal into the mixi jar. Pro tip 4. For larger quantities, grind it in batches at interval by keeping the mixi cool or use grinder. Now let's add the additional ingredients. Pro tip 5. I prefer using the stalks of the coriander herb while grinding instead of leaves because leaves can be used for garnishing and of course maximum utilization. You can add the curry leaves, coriander, green chilli and ginger according to the quantity of the uruddal and also according to your preferred taste. Here I am adding 4 to 5 curry leaves, 3 to 4 green chillies as I would be adding black pepper powder later and 2 to 3 small pieces of ginger. So coriander, curry leaves, green chilli and ginger to be added. Pro tip 6. There are two ways of grinding it. Some like to grind all the ingredients together at a go as I am doing. As there will be no hindrance while eating. But some like to add these in additional ingredients after grinding the batter because when the ingredients are fried in the oil as a whole they give a unique taste while biting them with the vadas. So choice is yours. Look at the batter. The consistency is that you must not feel any granules of uruddal. It must be mushy and thick. Pro tip 7. Do not add water while grinding at first. The water from the soaked uruddal will be enough. If needed, add few tablespoons of water gradually and not in a go. Pro tip 8. Every time you grind the same batch, make sure you mix the batter in the mixi with the spatula and because if you don't do it, the batter at the bottom alone will be grinding. Do not make the mat batter too hot by grinding it for a longer time as the heat might spoil the texture of the batter little bit. So this is the consistency. Too much water will spoil the batter and makes the vada oily. So next time if your vadas are oily, remove, reuse the water coating. Now let's enhance the taste of the batter by adding the seasonings. First coriander leaves, then chopped onions, two medium sized, then black pepper half a teaspoon. It's optional but it's good for your health and a pinch of asafoetida and salt one tablespoon or as per your requirement. Now 
now let's become the master in making the vadas first mix all the ingredients together and start beating or whisking the batter to make the soft fluffy inside and crispy outside vadas pro tip 9 use your hands for beating the batter trust me it's it's the fun part and it's very relaxing pro tip 10 beat or whisk the batter in clockwise direction and not in the anti clockwise direction or in random manner this action will make your vadas fluffy because as you keep on beating the batter it will get loosened up and the onions added to the batter will also release some water making the batter fluid a bit in its consistency onions are optional and still the batter will be loosened because of continuous beating the aroma of vadas have already filled the room pro tip 11 start heating the oil before starting to beat the batter it saves time now the batter is ready no need to refrigerate the batter for cooling the heat caused by grinding it in the mixer because the beating process will make it cool down if you still want to refrigerate it while using it bring it to room temperature whisk it and then use it It's time for your magical hands to do the magic. For frying the vadas, take a thick bottomed wok or pot or a kadai. I have used a cast iron kadai and I have used refined oil for frying. Pro tip 12. To check whether the oil is heated or not, add a small portion of batter to the oil. The batter will float instantly on the top of the oil. Wow! Do you see the heart shape? Cooking is full of surprises, isn't it? First, have a bowl of water nearby. Wet your hands, take a portion of the batter and roll it into a ball. Then dip your thumb in the water and make a hole in the center. Then drop the batter in the oil directly or by pushing it with your thumb. So pro tip 13. Based on your wok or the kadai size, limit the number of vadas for frying. Do not worry if it sticks together. You can separate the vadas when it is half fried. This hat is for all of the viewers for Ratatouille anyone can cook. Keep on rotating the vadas till it becomes golden brown on both sides and the air bubbles get settled. Pro tip 14. Temperature. It is very important. If the heat is too low, the vadas will not float on the top. It will absorb lots of oil and won't be crispy. So maintain the temperature between medium and hot by adjusting the flame medium to high. Crispy yummy vadas are ready. You can try multiple variations by soaking it in sambar curd or rasam or it can be accompanied with various chutneys for which the videos will be posted soon. Falling in love with these vadas forever. Smell it, taste it and enjoy it. Like, share and subscribe. If you enjoyed watching the video, like, share and subscribe by hitting the bell icon. Cooking is art and food is life. So share your magical experience with us in the comment section by trying the art of life. And you can also follow us on Insta, Facebook and YouTube. I couldn't sleep. I was just thinking how hard these are today. Just 6 7 hours later they are going to be part of something soft fluffy mushy and crispy at the same time who thought of this wow